Hello everybody, this is Tony D. Phillips and today I'm going to show you how to use Edmodo, a communication, collaboration, and content creation web page and mobile app that you can use for your classroom. If you would like to use Edmodo, and if you're watching this, I assume you will, first you'll need to sign up, provide your name, email, and password, and then sign up for and sign into the web page, and I will meet you there. And here we are on our welcome page. There's a few posts here from another teacher from last school year, but because it's the end of the school year, I've already cleared out all of my classes. So right now, I'm going to look to create a class, a group, for next year. And that will be for my AP Biology course, um, which is a 12th grade elective in the sciences in biology. And, of course, you'll take a few moments to take care of yours, so feel free to pause the video and do what you need to as you follow these steps through. Um, my group size will be fairly large because I have two sections. All right, and now that my group is created, you'll see that there is a group code. That is the code that you will give to your students so that they can, A, register for Edmodo, and B, uh, B be connected to you. And they have further information here as well in terms of locking the groups so that um, no outsiders can come in. All right, so now it's time to start interacting with that group. I don't have any students there, but I can welcome them. Um, for next year, I could also provide them the link to my school, uh, my um, class webpage. And I will pop that in here. And I will send that to my class. Oop, forgot to send it. Ooh, I need to send it to. There we go. AP Biology, and we can send it. All right, now, no students are signed up, so they may not see it yet. I do have a video for students. You can take a look at that in a few moments. Now. I am going to want to upload my syllabus so I can have their first assignment to get a contract signed. So right up here, there's a library, and I am going to add to my library. I am going to upload a file right now, and I am going to upload my AP Biology syllabus. And I will put that right there, and it is already on Edmodo. So I'll come back here, and now I want to assign them to sign this contract. Um, I can describe it, and we're not going to go through all of that right now. Um, in the library, I am going to choose the AP Bio syllabus, because the contract is a part of that. And I'm also going to want to add a due date. That is obviously going to be the beginning of next school year. We start school on the 2nd, so I'll have this signed and due by the 5th. And there we have it. Okay. We're going to sign the contract. And we're going to send it to my AP Biology class. And there we go. So now all of that information is there. Obviously, with a little bit more time, we can add some things here. I could put in a quiz. I can um, ask a poll question. Are you planning to take the AP exam in May? Very simple little poll question. Yes or no or heck no. We'll send that to AP Biology as well. And there we go. So now we have three things that my students will immediately see as soon as they sign in. They will see my welcome message and web page. They will see the contract and the syllabus. And they will immediately be able to tell me if they're taking the exam. In another little video that I'm making, we will see from the student side what this all looks like. And then we can come back here and see once we have some information coming from those students. But until I have some students, there's not a whole lot more I can do. So this has been your introduction to Edmodo.